Madison Wire Car represents the fourth generation of the VPSA Paramasiva Nadar group of companies. The group was based in Virudhnagar, 520 kilometers from the state capital of Tamil Nadu, Chennai. The VPSA Paramasiva Nadar group's roots date back to 1912 and lie primarily in the chili business. Virudhnagar was the country's leading producer of chilies and the VPSA Paramasiva Nadar group played a significant role. They were one of the largest chili exporters. In the 1960s, they were the first to export a variety of stemless dry chilies to the United States. The variety was referred to as S4 chilies and became a trademark. They eventually entered the European market as well. Midway through the 1970s, chili production shifted from Virudhnagar, Tamil Nadu to Guntur, Andhra Pradesh and the group followed the market. Obviously, if you say for the of companies, it's a family enterprise. I belong to the fourth generation. We also have our fifth generation who just joined the business. The sixth generation baby is just born. So that it's a very large establishment. And uh, we owe our existence to the chili business. As we are probably known as chili traders and chili exporters, uh, which uh, we can trace back our history going back to the year around 1912, the year of records. We started trading in uh, chilies. And our grand at that time, I think they had the vision that uh, there is an opportunity with spices and uh, they started offering chilies and other spices to the British uh, people to offer the armed forces, British, uh, the Indian soldiers who have posted in various parts of the world at that time. I think that's how we got into the export uh, business. In the late 1970s, the company began exporting to Jebol Samsung in South Korea. The group became the largest exporter of dried chili in the 1990s. The VPSA Paramasiva Nadar group had 40 male business members at the time. 1995 marked the completion of Mr. Jason Wirekar's Bachelor of Business Management BBM at Christ College, Bangalore. In 1997, he received his Master of Business Administration in International Business from Charles Darwin University in Australia. During his time in Australia, he held a part-time position at McDonald's. This experience exposed him to hygiene and housekeeping standards that will prove useful in the future. Mr. Jason was permitted to pursue his education abroad on the condition that he return to the family business upon completion. He joined the organization in 1997. In 1999, the group experienced a division. The cousins left and there were now 15 members of the family including the next generation. Mr. Jason Wirekar assumed the duty of business diversification. In response to the market shift towards powder form, they established a manufacturing unit. They also entered the distribution industry and expanded into numerous categories. They began distributing ITC tobacco, FMCG products, Nokia phones, SL SIM cards, Modern Bread and Unilever products among others. Mr. Jason Wirekar's passion for marketing made him thoroughly enjoy this phase. Working with major brands gave him phenomenal exposure. He gained tremendous branding and marketing knowledge. In 2003, Mr. Jason Wirekar was entrusted with the management of the chili powder manufacturing unit as his father had relocated to China to explore export opportunities. Mr. Jason Wirekar, realizing the potential of the chili powder business, left his distribution company. He concentrated on exports and supplied some of the largest brands in the world. 
Mr. Jason Barker was always interested in launching their own brand. A few months after launching a brand in 2010, he was forced to discontinue it due to other responsibilities. And, uh, that's what uh, got me interested in launching our own brand of spices, uh, which we did close to 2010. But at that time, I think it was a busy time for me in the business. I was managing our manufacturing operations, I was managing the distribution of FMCG, telecom of products, and then I think I got my feet into too many things at the same time and I couldn't run the spice brand properly. So we shut it down for about two or three years. But I think this was valuable lessons learned on distribution, marketing and branding. And then that gets you thinking about why not have your own and that's how I think what my learning was from distribution from ITC learning on branding and distribution I get from Coca-Cola which was a fantastic experience. I think whatever we do today, I think these are the companies that actually they played a role and you meet brilliant people in these companies. Right? Each other comes up with ways of solving problems in the market, and all of that I think was an inspiration to get our own brand startup. And I think uh, 2010 we started to shut it off very quickly. When the next opportunity arose, he resumed branding efforts and introduced the brand Thelias Masala. Mr. Jason Wirker embarked on a mission to lay the groundwork for establishing the brand. In his early years, he committed branding errors such as failing to research the competition. Initially, he failed to comprehend the target audience, sold the what instead of the why and made other errors, but he quickly overcame them. He engaged in extensive reading, attended numerous trade shows, met relevant people and as required hired consultants. Even though the spices product category is competitive and crowded, he realized that only 25% of the market was served by organized players. 75% of the market remained untapped. He also opinioned that as the nation's income rises, its citizens gravitate towards more protein-rich foods such as meat, poultry and fish. He believed the 200 man years of procurement experience his team possessed would assist him in delivering products of high quality and consistency. He worked on the Thiles Masala positioning. He concentrated on regional cuisines and created time-saving blends that catered to regional preferences. He presented items such as Virudnagar Salna Masala, Marina Fish Roast Mix, Chatinat Chicken Mix and a variety of other mixes. These are the first of their kind in the industry. Mr. Jason also employed very innovative marketing strategies. He ensured that his products are sold in all chicken and meat retail establishments. He utilized all of his prior experience in FMCG distribution and made significant inroads into major retail outlets. He developed the institutional vertical and supplied to restaurants and caterers with bulk spice blend. This enabled him to utilize the available manufacturing capacity and achieve economies of scale. The journey from a legacy trading business to a brand is extremely challenging. The mental shift is particularly hard. In trading, the results and gestation period are shorter, whereas creating a brand requires more time investment and consistency. Mr. Jason Wilder has led the foundation for Thilas Masala to become a rupees 100 crore brand by 2030 and he ultimately wants his group to be identified by the brand.